Well, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my uh, OLED board that I've been developing. It's for an uh, 1.04 inch OLED screen, which is right now scrolling through all the available cor colors, 65,000 colors. It has a 3.3 voltage supply and a 3.3 to 12 volt uh, converter here, DC to DC converter that supplies the OLED screen with 12 volt. It has a 8-bit parallel interface, SPE interface and uh, the 8-bit parallel can be in both 6 to 8000 mode and 8 to 80 mode. This is a OLED screen when it's not mounted. And as you can see it is really really thin. Actually this board itself is well perhaps not more than uh whoops I lost focus here now. Let's see if I can get some focus. It's really dark in here. Uh like that. Uh this board itself is not more than four millimeters in uh, in depth depth and uh, the tallest component being this inductor as you can see of course it's not supposed to have wires to it it's supposed to have a connection list down here so that you can just connect it on your breadboard or in your system and start developing some nice software to it uh, I'm beginning uh, to think about uh, actually selling these boards but the factory made them uh, I have been speaking to a factory in China which will be uh, manufacturing this PCB for me and solder and everything. So if you are interested in buying an OLED development board for about uh, 35 30 dollars and something like that then uh, please mail me on my YouTube channel because I have to have about 100 orders before I can do anything with it. Don't mind the flickering that you see on the screen, screen right here. Uh, in real life it's uh, really smooth and uh, with no transaction effect or, uh, or something like that. And uh, as this is an uh, OLED screen you can uh, have it in any way possible and still have a nice picture. But uh, I have not quite developed my software f uh, fully yet, so I will try to show you some pictures, but uh, they will have the wrong color. I am aware of that. We'll have uh, Homer Simpson and uh, uh, Earth with uh, sunrise on. Just a minute. And now we reset. And uh, the black you see now, that's how black the black uh, uh, background is going to be if you have a picture with blackness in it. So it's really, really great uh, picture quality, and uh, the colors are intense and nice. And this is easily red in the daylight also, and uh, by friends from the side and above because. It's not the uh, TFT with the uh, flow uh, liquid crystals. As you can see, I have screwed up the colors pretty good. But no effect on the colors, even though. Um, strange angle and as you can see where it's black it is really really black it's 96 uh, by 64 pixels also and uh, and with my ARM Cortex M3 processor I can reach FPS up to about 60 or 80 if I overclock it 
Let's see if I can get them closer. Let me see. But as you can see, uh, the colors are not quite right yet. So if you're inter interested in uh, having a board like this, but smaller and uh, factory made, with a connection list instead of wires and some mounting holes and stuff like that, it will look uh, nice, I promise you. Uh, please mail me on my YouTube channel. And as I said earlier, I, has, I have to have about 100 orders, or not orders, but interested in uh, buying before I can order all the components and the ordered PCB. So thank you for this time and I uh, hope you enjoyed my OLED screen. I will show you an update when uh, I have the colors fully functioning and perhaps uh, some movie or film encoder and something like that, uh, decoder, so I can show you a small movie uh, cut on it. Bye.